Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the burning wreckage that is today's episode of Roleplay Far Verona. <laughs> we fade back figure. in on, yeah, a, a, a drop pod crux shuttle that has been struck by some kind of missile weapon. It is tipped up on its side. There is a hole in it, and all of the oxygen inside is being eaten up by the fire uh, that is burning on this thing. Uh, you, are, uh, you are currently uh, all con conscious, save for Nomi, and uh, kind of coming to, right? Figuring out like what the hell just happened. And uh, everybody is like upside down, turned over sideways. Like it's chaos. Uh, Valencio, you are, the, you are the first to act. What are you gonna okay. do? Um, I'll look over and just kind of yell to uh, Kiran. Kiran, grab Nomi. And then I will look towards how far away is it to the shuttle bay that we, we were obviously attached to like some sort of dock right yeah. how far away is it till we get into the the sad song like the ship proper like if you were to jump out and just like run for the uh run for the door yes run uh, this i mean run yeah it's probably like 50 meters from here to there Okay, so I'm going to have to commit effort for this, but that's fine, uh, and it will count as a main action. But I will draw the pistol, um, quickly glance around and be like, if I need to, I will try and lay down some suppressive fire, try and get to the ship if you can, and then I'll close my eyes and teleport to, I can go up to 100 meters to anywhere that I've previously been or I can see, um, to a secure, hopefully in cover location on the sad song where I can hopefully okay, get so better where, our assailants. Do you want to just like be behind some generic like crates cover that's around? Yeah. Yes. Right. Like, yes. Okay. Try and jump into cover basically. You can um, teleport. Yeah. I think, I think so Booker what is your, could give Booker is like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why so I like what is your, around. what is your, what does your teleportation look like? Like, do you fade out and appear somewhere else? Does the hand of God come down and pick you up and put you <laughs> down? <laughs> so I think, uh, not quite. Don't he, worry, he wishes, Chaplin. He wishes. Here you go, Chaplin. Something out of Super <laughs> Smash Brothers, just a big hand. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think um, he kind of pulls the gun up in a kind of John Wick style, like he gets it ready in a very combat experienced manner, and his form just begins to vibrate really violently before it then just kind of and then vanishes oh, cool. um, and then he appears uh in this cover as uh on the ship um, i feel like teleportation would be around. teleportation would be one of those mes things that would be very very hard to get right like i bet you a lot of people just teleport themselves out of existence the first time they try <laughs> it's not it, it's not the teleporting away thing that's hard it's the coming back that's back. difficult yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, cool. uh, so you, like, luckily, the chaplain is learned in it at least. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, that's one of my efforts that I've had to commit for the day. So, okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, you you reappear behind cover uh, somewhere uh, further away. So a quick kind of like diagram of the of the the area. So it's like more or less kind of like a truncated rectangle. Uh, there mm -hmm. are. Uh, there's this big, the big entrance over here that leads out into space. Mm -hmm. And then there are, um, your, your ship was here, but now it's over here. And it's on fire. Uh, the rocket came from somewhere like over here uh, in this okay. little like, cluster of things. There's like a cloud of smoke Great. just kind of hanging in the air. So the rocket mm -hmm. came from here. And then the door into the rest of the ship is there. Mm -hmm. And then there's like crates. And, and I think there's there's probably like a couple of other like Valen shuttles that didn't get used for the the uh, the, mm -hmm. um, the, the leaving of the ship. Okay, so okay. Right I'm getting a better idea of where we're at. This is like a shuttle bay as opposed to it's being a shuttle bay. Docked. Yep. Okay, okay. For some yeah, reason, I, mean, I was it's, thinking it's, it was like fucking Serenity style or like, you know, Yeah, I thought we were on the outside. To a yeah. thing oh, to no, no, no. You're, you're inside. Yeah, you're inside the, the inside oh, of the Okay, shuttle. that yeah. makes it less dire. I'm thinking we're free floating in space. I'm like, I mean, oh. you, but, but, but you are. Like, you are no, still free floating in space. Enclosed, we're in an enclosed area is what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I can jump into cover as well, Adam, this is just uh, purely guessing. I'm guessing because I was inside the wreckage of the shuttle, and if I teleport to somewhere behind cover, 
I'm in Valencia's thinking is they shouldn't know that he's there. They shouldn't see Correct. him teleport. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's right. So I will try and um, yeah, like stealthily try and get a, an idea of where the enemy is as well. Yeah. So I, I figured you'd want to teleport from the ship over like here towards the entrance, mm -hmm. so you can run yep. from the entrance if you need to. You can run yep. from the entrance in like this mm -hmm. way, but you can also kind of get a glance over there. And I mean, it's not hard to see where it came from because smoke acts weird. <laughs> yeah. Smoke acts change. weird in space. So there's like a ball of smoke where it launched and then like mm -hmm. a little bit of a trail that's like just kind of hovering there mm -hmm. um, and slowly dissipating in all directions. But, but yeah, they not, were definitely like... There's not a figure still stood no, there. No, I mean, like... there's there's a bunch of boxes, so it's it's hard to see what the hell's going on over there. Okay. So if they fired, they probably dropped back behind the behind the thing. Okay, so, uh, Kiran, you are currently, like, you got to be cracking your helmet. You're thrown to the side. You're, you're getting up. You heard Valencia be like, get Nomi. You look over. Nomi is lying unconscious. Yeah. Okay, do? so is my oxygen apparatus working? So you, like, tap it. Uh, make a luck check. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I like how <laughs> both of you are like, oh, God. Uh... <laughs> I mean, you don't know. You like tap your helmet, and all you can see is like the the HUD flickers, and then it goes out. So it's okay. yeah, it's hard to say. Okay, but I can breathe for now. Yeah, right? when you breathe, it doesn't. You don't pass out. You're not like struggling. You're not drowning in your suit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, the sound that I made oh, that was air escaping your helmet. <laughs> <gasps> that's gonna be the sound i make in a few minutes just kidding um <laughs> i i'm gonna kind of like shakily probably i'm actually probably not gonna stand up completely on all fours i'm just gonna try to like like on all fours crawl over to where nomi is instead of trying to get my feet and assess okay. the damage see if her like is her helmet cracked is she is her, is she hit her head like what's happening uh, she's unconscious. Uh, there is like some kind of, um, like, like she's, she's very badly hurt. There's probably like a warning light blinking on her helmet. That's like showing her little heart meter, like slowing down. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, she, she's either concussed or has like a broken neck or like something, but, uh, she needs medical assistance ASAP. Okay. Okay. Um, I have a Lazarus patch. I know the shuttle has mm -hmm. a med kit. What? Can I tell, ugh, would I be smart enough to know? Like if there's a, if there's like a spot where she was like punctured by like, you know, being thrown into something, then I'd probably hit her with a Lazarus patch. But if it's something else, then I'd probably attempt to stabilize her with the medical kit. Uh, I mean, one, I don't one know thing at a time, TVs. right? Like, yeah, yeah she's, she's, she's dying. Make sure, make sure she doesn't die first, then figure out whether her suit's been compromised or whatever. Um, right. Yeah, there's, there's a way to uh, apply like a Lazarus uh, patch via the suit. Like you probably, uh, it probably has some kind of like slot. Yeah, exactly. I would, uh, yeah, so I the suit, if the suit, first. if the suit isn't totally destroyed, which it isn't, it should self seal given enough time. And there is a slot mm -hmm. that you would like apply the patch and the suit will do the rest of the work. You still have to make the medical roll, but. Okay, let's attempt that shunt her bloodstream full of chemicals she's probably tired of being shunted full of um i mean she she hasn't had a las patch att attached to her in like a long time so the difficulty is uh it's only six this is the first round so okay let's heal with it int, is yes correct uh int or dex whichever is better for me they're the same all right let's see Oh, you're you're an expert. Can you reroll? Right? You can, you're an expert. You can you can, can reroll, I believe, if you want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna reroll it. Um, yeah. I almost want to reroll it with Dex just for luck. You could. And the plus threes. Oh no, I know you can't. But this is the new danger sense. <laughs> there it is. Yay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Nomi, uh, in in a few minutes, you'll have one hit point, and you'll be you'll be back unless somebody gives you a shot of like lift or whatever. Excellent. So you're uh, you're not gonna die. So that's good. Sweet. Um, yet. Yet. Neither of us Booker. are gonna die yet. <laughs> Booker, what are you? What are you doing? <clears throat> okay, so we're inside this shuttle bay. Just got shot from that direction over here that you, I'm pinging right now. There's a cloud of smoke there. Um, shuttle's on fire. 
Uh, yeah, sort of. Like the fire, the fire will run out of oxygen. It'll run out of oxygen to to operate yeah. like pretty quick. So. so it's not it's not a huge deal. It's more just like ah, fire that sucks. Um, yeah, there's 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 fire next to the oxygen tube that's been severed, and the oxygen right. tube is spraying oxygen into the vacuum, and that oxygen is lighting on fire immediately and burning off. Uh, right. So eventually, you'll just run out of supply. Okay, what is uh, Booker's view from inside the the shuttle right now? Like, would he be able to see this? What are these crates cover and stuff over here? You can see the like ceiling because you're the shuttle's on its side, uh, and if you look out the back of the shuttle, you can see space. But if you stand up and like stand on one of the the banister or one of the the benches, yeah, you can peer over and look out and see the hole inside of the uh, of the thing. Okay, is the shuttle still intact, or is there like a blast hole from the rocket's impact? There is very much a blast hole, yeah. Is it large enough for people to get through? Yes, that's how, um, that's how Valencio like, looked out. Uh, gotcha. And, uh, yeah, got out of the shuttle. Okay, so... Booker's concern would be getting them into cover, so that way they're not stuck here in a shuttle that's probably going to receive another rock in a second and also providing some cover fire he doesn't exactly know where where uh because the chaplain didn't say where he was going he was just like what, what i said i was going to try and put some cover on i was going to try and like put okay, some so heat he knows on. that you're in yeah. some sort of tactical position yeah <clears throat> okay um yeah booker would, would would say uh to kieran as she's healing like Take care of her. I'm gonna try to provide more cover fire with the chaplain. When it's clear, you move to the you move to the crates over on the other side in the corner. That's what he said. And then, um, I guess he's gonna because <laughs> they're just like trained on him. Any movement he does is gonna be like, yeah. I mean, maybe, you don't know. You don't know like who's out there. Or what's staying going on. in the shuttle? Certain death. So. Who's out there? So this is what Booker's going to do. You tell me what, what I need to do, roll mechanically or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I see the shuttle. That's nice. Oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> so Booker would um, get ready to like, like put his hands like on the, on the edge of the, the shuttle hole or, or brace himself in a way that would be, like, be able to launch himself out the shuttle's hole after he hits off his like grav boots. Um, mm -hmm. Assuming that those are still going. I'm assuming that's the only thing that's keeping us there. Yeah. Okay. So he... He's going to shoot himself off that way and then like fire as he's going into, you know, cover sideways towards the, uh, the crates. Again, and you have a laser, laser, laser pistol should be yeah, a laser pistol. Okay. All right. So when you fire it, it won't throw you back against the wall. Um, yeah. what are you, what are you firing at? Just like wildly at the crates? No, he's firing. If he sees a target, he's not going to put a target on himself. You know what I mean? Okay. Like if he, so the idea is you just, you just want to jump. Out. Yeah. And just jump that and way. fly Put himself that towards way. cover okay. and, you know, uh, so that way he's set up to, to provide cover fire from a better position. And if he sees a target, he's like the whole while, while he's moving sideways, he's training himself to see if he sees any movement and he's firing directly okay. at any movement. Um, make a notice roll with wisdom. Okay. Staying in the shuttle doesn't really provide any help right now. So that's, you know, mm -hmm. sick. Okay. Uh, you don't, you don't see anyone. Uh, th there's either nobody there or, uh, they like they're, they're hiding really well. You don't see, yeah, you don't see, uh, you don't see anybody. Okay. And you, so once you he gets glide towards, over, um, you glide over here. Yeah. Once he gets there, um, you just slap on the, the grab boots again. Okay. All right. Yeah. And you, and then go into like a, the, you know, cover uh, position. Okay. All right. So Valencio, it gets back around to, to like your opportunity to act, but nobody has popped out or, or done anything. Okay. That's interesting. Um, consider as an open target. So I'm right by the door, right? Can I, uh, can I just steal a quick glance down the corridor to see if anybody's running down it? Yes. And no. Uh, okay. Yes, you can. And no, there isn't. That's nobody's nobody running. <laughs> yes In that case, no. can I, how far would it be to go from the crates by the door to that other section of cover, like the barrels and stuff? I'm assuming they're barrels because they're round, Adam. Um, yes, they are the indeed barrels. Door. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, uh, I mean, you could do you could do that in one turn if you just run over there. Is it like ten meters or so, just because of the teleportation stuff? It's got mm, specific I mean, ranges. The scale the scale is off 
right? Like, yeah. It's obviously not three three hundred kilometers, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you teleported there. It's at a scale uh, of like one to ten, one to ten basically. So from here, it'd be like another twenty meters, twenty five meters. Damn it. Okay. Uh, because I can go ten without using my move action. Um, I don't want them to necessarily know I am a. I fixed it. There you go. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna commit my second effort um for the day. Okay. Uh, for the scene rather. There I wanna like uh, so I'm gonna uh I don't know if I can ping this on roll twenty, but basically behind those shuttles, but looking in the direction of uh the cover that the the uh, crates and stuff came from. So kind of going onto the other side, because I've seen Booker fly across and I want to try and mm -hmm. kind of pincer them as best as I can. I can go up to a hundred meters, so I don't know. Oh, how yeah, far so you I'm... can go like oh, yeah, anywhere go. over here. Yeah, so like yeah, that that where you just had it, uh over on that far the right hand side shuttle, yeah, around there would be perfect. Committing some maximum so, effort. I like it. Committing some max effort. Okay. So you teleport again and reappear over here. It's yep. fucking terrifying and I... if somebody's fighting you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Okay. The best is, uh, the... Uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff I can do later. The back door to this shuttle uh, is open. Now, this this shuttle, these are, um, like, they're much bigger than yours. They're passenger shuttles. They're meant to carry, like, 20 nobles in, like, first-class style. Uh, both mm -hmm. of them are are painted in this beautiful blue and gold color. Uh, and when you when you teleport over there, you see that the um, yeah the one of the back loading doors on this one is just like sitting open. Okay, I will. Okay. So uh, that's just I mean that's down. that's your that's your that's turn. my main that's action. Like, yeah, that's my main right action. Down. Okay, uh, Kiran, what do you want to do? The, the ship is basically stopped burning. That's good, um, and no one's firing any more rounds, so I'm assuming we're not in danger for the immediate. Yeah, I think we come out of yeah we come out of combat order. Um, Nomi, you start to wake up, uh, so you you come to and you see Kiran, you see a bunch of other unconscious like Crux guys. You don't see Booker or uh, the chaplain anywhere, and um, yeah, when you we you come to, we see it from your perspective. Everything's blurry and it starts to clear clarify, and you hear this insistent voice being like Hullbridge detected. Hull breach detected. Hull breach detected. And you're just like, that's the voice you hear when you come to. Any beeping? Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. A klaxon. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, there's any like alarm. That's the alarm. That just like there's a hole in the ah, huddle. that's good. That's less annoying than like you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are there any spare suits on the shuttle by chance? Mm, no, there wouldn't be room for full suits. There's like a small armory, like with <laughs> Crux prior. They've got priorities. So there's mm -hmm. there's like a half dozen pistols, uh, a single recharge shell for each one, and then a medical kit. Okay, I would like to do a quick check of my suit in case I need to jerry rig some kind of a repair, like. Okay. Fizzy um, cheese, a uh, crack in my visor, or something. <laughs> something. <laughs> so the suit, the suit hey, is. I the read suit that is... online. I read that you can repair, use fizzy cheese to repair ships. So before you laugh, Mark, read the wiki. <laughs> it's like the duct tape of the food world. <laughs> yeah, it's like eating. It's like eating industrial caulk. Uh, so no, the the your suit has self sealed. It's just its internal diagnostic computer is broken, and so it's not giving you any like readings. Um, but you're not losing oxygen. You do a quick check, and you're like, you're fine. Okay, good. I mean, good. fine. Um, Chaplain, what would you like to do? Uh, I will try to... So this shuttle door's open. I'm guessing the other shuttle is closed, though? Uh, yes, the other shuttle seems to be... Uh... And we've seen no other fire, and I didn't see anybody running down the corridor. So I think my instinct is to try and get a peek into this sh uh, shuttle and try and remain hidden so I can try and surprise whoever might be in there. Okay. Um, it sounds to me like the things that you want are uh, inverse of one another. So, like, you want to yeah, let's, peek so, in... Go on. So what do you want to do? You want to peek inside, but you also want to stay hidden. So Yeah. Yes. 
I want right. to do both of those things, please, Adam. Go. Do you sure. want to have right, your let's... cake and also eat it? Yes, yeah, I do. Here's, yes. here's some cake. Look, you can eat it, but then it'll be gone. Uh, I have played okay, well, Metal I mean... Gear. I shuffle up to the edge of the shuttle, and then the camera looks in for me, and then I can see where the bad guys are. That's how it <laughs> right. works, Adam. Right. That's. I mean, you could there there could be a psychic power that would let you see yourself in the third person, but this is not that. Um, there is, yeah, I think there is actually. Yeah. Okay. So you want to like peer into the into the shuttle? Like, uh, let's quick. just have you make yeah. a, a sneak roll. Just make a sneak roll with Dex. Okay. See if you can stay hidden. Dex. and Just like peer in with anyone seeing you. Hop. Okay. I will roll to oppose you. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. Uh, so. You look in, you see someone in a Vela spacesuit with the like the blue and gold. Um, and they are at the console of the shuttle trying to do something. They have their back to you. Can I just uh can I com like use our suit internal comms to get greaves? Uh yes, because that person will not hear you because there's no oxygen. So you if you talk yeah. to Greaves, only Greaves will hear you. Um and the rest of the team. So in a very different tone to how he's normally spoken, you just get a very terse Greaves, right-hand shuttle, one Valor, one Valor assailant attempting to do something, attempting to engage the, the shuttle itself, engaging. And then I'll literally pull out the pistol and ready myself, because I'm guessing that's my turn. So I'll ready yeah, myself totally. next turn to jump in. No, I mean, you're conscious, you're up, you're, your shit is together. What do you, what do you want to do? Uh, so the three of us are still on the shuttle, but... Booker, or no, uh, us, Booker, us, yeah, Booker is yeah. not. Uh, yeah. You, you, you just watched Kiran like check her suit. She seems fine, uh, and you heard what the chaplain just said. Cool. Um, so there's no way for us to contact the Prudence anymore because uh, the shuttle. You, yeah, uh, no, you would not. require the comms. Yeah, you'd require the comms array on the shuttle you no longer have. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Okay, uh, I, I don't know. I'll just like pull out my pistol, I guess, and then look at uh, Kieran and say, um, should we get off the shuttle, do you think? Yes, and I'll go ahead and grab a pistol from the rack as well and uh, awkwardly put it in my... <laughs> Oh, it's a crux. I mean, it's a crux. It's a crux spacesuit. As soon as you pick one up, the like, there's a section under the ribs of the suit that just goes like, and like opens. Perfect. (laughs) Awkwardly put it there because I'm not used to using firearms. Yeah, that suit is excited that you have a gun now. Uh, And so you, (laughs) you see when you pick it up, some kind of like heads up display tries to link the gun and your visor, and then it like blinks out, and then you Mm -hmm. lock it in the lock it in the holster. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. I'll just like nod to her and uh, lead the way since I'm assuming she's probably still a little disoriented. Okay. All right. Booker, what are you doing? So the, uh, the chaplain just told me that there was a, that a Valen. Did we confirm? Is that what he said? Someone, someone in a Valen spacesuit. Yeah. Right. And which shuttle was it? Is it the right one? Uh, it'd be this, to... this guy. That guy right here. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you one mark. This is where the chaplain is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. And he just said that there's somebody there with him. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, that's my movement. Sorry, I'm looking at my sheet over here. Um, uh, next movement. I'm so used to finding everything on uh, 5e sheets. <laughs> <laughs> no. I do not see it. Can you help me out here? What are you looking for? Just max movement that I would be able to, to go. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody's is the same, and I think it's like 10 meters. But you could do it twice. Yeah, 10 meters, you can run another 10. So you can move 20 total. Okay. And the measure the measurement scale of the map is actually correct now. Oh, is it? Yeah. So you are currently over here. So in one turn you could get there. Right out in the open. 
Well, what if we went to the if I was moving to the barrels? You went to the barrels, yeah. Just You'd be just just range. Yeah, I think I think you could get like close to that first barrel. You'd have cover from like whatever's over here. Okay, so that's where Booker's gonna move. He's gonna move to the first barrel right yonder. Okay. And and right. have so his you, you probably the line tool in this stuff. Is it like some weird uh oh, it's the ruler, the ruler they changed it. Yeah. Oh yeah, they changed it. It looked all weird to me. I thought it was different for maybe this, you know, stars that numbers. Yep. So he's gonna move to that barrel and have his sights trained here. If he sees the Valen that he's talking about, he's firing. Okay, uh, so as you move across, you look up towards the cockpit, like, glass, and you can see a figure, like, hunched over the console, like, trying, yeah. doing something. Okay. Um, Valen, is... Valen, Sp Valen spacesuit, some kind of, like, thing hanging, there's a strap hanging off his shoulder with cables yeah. running off of it, and he's, like, plugging the cables into the console and, like, doing doing something to the computer. Yep. All right, shoulder. so as, as he gets to, Booker gets to the um, the barrel, he goes over comms to, um, to the chaplain. Another Valen in the cockpit has something hanging off. Don't know what's going on. He's plugging it in. And that's how Booker sounds when he's apparently acting a badass. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm okay. like, that sounds right. nothing like Booker. <laughs> Nomi, Nomi, and uh, Nomi and Kiran, what are you doing? Um, I think I'm going to attempt to. I, I guess, like, yeah, that'd probably be first turn is just hopping out of the hole. But actually, the hole is facing where the, the enemy is at, or where, yeah. Wait, yeah, the whole the whole, the whole is Yeah, because like the the shuttle was on its side, the rocket right. hit it there, and now yes. the shuttle is like okay. tipped right, up. That's so the hole is the hole is there. Yeah. Um is the ass end near those um boxes on that side? The yeah, the other way, because you flew the shuttle in face first, so you can you right. the other end exits this way. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the end of the shuttle that way. We can, we, you know, we actually have cover instead of leaving through the top, which is from what the chaplain told us exactly. Like, op mm -hmm. four will see us if we go from there. So instead, I, I, I'm assuming that the shuttle probably has an emergency like hatch, so we can jettison that back door or at least open it and get out from the back. Yeah, I think it's reasonable to assume that the back door is already open or or could be opened really easily. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that open, then turn off my grav boots and just float down, jump down. Okay. Uh, so you want to go this this direction out the back? The yes. Wait, no. <laughs> yeah, I figured no was probably the yeah. answer to that question. Yeah, no, the opposite direction. Uh, is there? Yeah, this an exit this is the front, front of the vehicle. But yeah, you can climb oh. up out of the hole and then go the way, okay. like, just like Booker did. Yeah, no, I could do that. Then let's yeah. go ahead and do that. Uh, Nomi, are you going to go with uh, Kiran? Are you going to just follow her? Yes. Yeah, I am. Okay. Good. You do. All right. So the two of you end up back here uh, in this behind this section of crates. Booker's over here now. You're all kind of like in this this arc, right, of like covering this whole section facing towards this. So let's cut back to the chaplain. Uh, you have eyes on this dude. From the, from the back, you're like peering in. Uh, you you and uh, Booker are looking at the same person. So this mm -hmm. this guy, he's got a, a battery pack or like something hanging from his shoulder, and he's got cables, a big bundle of cables running off of it, and he's jammed this cable into the the cockpit uh, of the ship, and now he's like flipping switches, and you can see that the ship's console has like turned on, and is the he's basically getting the shuttle like ready to launch. Okay. Um, would I be able to aim at and shoot the battery pack? Uh, or would that just be shooting him? No, you. I mean, if you if you wanted to damage the battery pack thing, so we couldn't use it. Yeah, you certainly could. I'm just thinking like that might stop him from being able to power up the shuttle and get away, which is what I think Valencia is focused on, rather than. Um, anything else right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah if you so, want to take, take a shot, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I think, but the, but so, the. <laughs> so you're I not just... in. You're not in combat. You could just make a shoot roll as if it was a skill. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that because he can't hear me, right? I can't talk to him in any way because no. we're in a vacuum. So I, otherwise, I was going to try and get him to like step away and stuff, but 
Uh, I mean, you okay. could try. You could do like a broad. You could broadcast like a wideband thing, and and it might pick it up if he has his radio on. No, I'm gonna shoot the battery pack. <laughs> <laughs> you could talk Roll to him. Now, fuck it, I shoot him. Okay, all right. Well, I shoot so, the battery pack. Like I'm hoping. Like, yes, this, I mean. Yeah. This is the thing. Yeah, you're going to try to shoot the battery pack. If you get a 10 and plus, then, you you ice the battery pack, no problem. 7 and 9, plus. it's more complicated than that. Would this, yeah. okay. so by chance, there. count as an ambush? This is not the assault <laughs> on the ballroom, so no, you can't use your... You can't blame me for trying. <laughs> no, I, I, I certainly can't. He's not aware, Adam. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's... let's, let's for some pluses. No, that sounds, that sounds reasonable. Let's okay. yeah, let's let you um because you have time. You have time to aim, right? Yeah. So, so, so this is like the thing, it in. isn't a snapshot. It's you like lifting your gun, closing one eye, like yep. in a deep breath. You got lots of time. It's like shooting a target, and he's not that far from you. So yeah, give yourself a give yourself a plus one uh, on the roll. Okay. <sighs> nice. Okay. So Third here's place. the thing. You, you get it. You still succeed. Yeah. You get exactly what you asked for. You you damage the thing. You, you stop him from doing what he's doing. So he's got this thing hanging on his side, and he goes to, like, adjust it. He goes to, like, turn a knob on it or something. You shoot it, mm -hmm. and your laser silently tears right through it. The thing blows up, takes off most of the dude's hand, uh, <laughs> and he, like, gets thrown against the console. You can't hear him screaming because it's space. Uh, he grabs his hand and there's like globs of blood like like floating in the air and he falls backwards clutching his hand to his chest there's this smoking device and he, he looks up at you he turns his helmet towards you and you see uh the the panicked face of uh some some human uh inside and he just looks at you like oh what the fuck's going on my hand and you can see him like shouting inside his helmet but uh yeah you've just you've just blown his hand off so okay yeah, and then so I'll just um, Booker from the okay. other side. Booker, you see the yeah. inside of the cockpit flare suddenly, and then uh, and then the guy falls sideways and backwards. Nice, sick. <laughs> you hear that over the comm? <laughs> Fucking sick. <laughs> Way to go, Chaplin. Cool. Fucking sick, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Booker does a <laughs> Booker does sweet. a sweet ollie and rides out of there. Um. <laughs> Okay. I mean, this guy's clearly not the one. He wouldn't be panicked in that regard, I don't think. But yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So what are you gonna do? He's he's disabled oh, now. So yeah, I I broadcast. Uh, I just switch the comms, and I'll probably loop in our normal squad as well. Just like switch it to an open broadcast, and just be mm -hmm. like, step away from the console now. And then I'll just I'll start moving towards him and go to like keep my gun on him, but go to grab him by the suit and drag him back, basically. Okay. Yeah. So you come up to him and you just grab him and like pull. And he's he's the only thing that he is concerned about right now is the fact he's, that he now only has one and a half hands. Yep. yep. So you yeah you grab him and you pull him away from the console, uh, which is like itself like kind of burned. There's the cables dangling from it. Uh, Nomi and Kiran and and Booker, if you want to come up to it, if you want to like be walking yeah. in on the scene, you can. I'll, I'll as message Chaplin yeah, as well. Booker's like, saying like, stuff like, 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 I have him. Yeah. Once he saw Booker yeah. saw that it was like. The situation was handled. Uh, he comes like Jesus. still drawn. I know. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to type in chat too. It looks like he got his ass handed to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, ah, we we, right. we we've been here. We had all of this happen in Mirror Shades. We don't need it again. I think we have it again <laughs> when Berg lost his arm. So it's fine. So uh, yeah. So yeah. so all of you are <laughs> gathered. You're gathered at the uh, at the shuttle. There is a um, a man with one and one and a half hands uh, lying. He's in shock. He's just lying there, like kind of staring into space. And he's just sitting at the back of the shuttle where the chaplain has dragged him, you know, like pointing the gun at him. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I'm going to grab my knife and uh, attempt to salvage. Really wish I hadn't left the medical kit on the ship now. Attempt to salvage some fabric from something and try to fashion a tourniquet because I'm mostly worried about this dude bleeding out before we can get what we need out of him. Oh yeah, you want to make sure he doesn't bleed to death. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Make a um uh make a uh medical roll. Okay. Uh, unless somebody else with actual medical training would like to do it. Does anyone hey, else have? It? I have heal as a skill. Oh okay. Yeah. No, yeah. You Lomi do can do it. Yeah. Cool. Um. 
says when rolling heal skill checks, roll 3d6 and drop the lowest die. Hey. Yeah. Uh, so seven or no six. Seven. Okay. And uh, do you have a bonus to heal? Uh, it's with your dex or your intelligence. Dex, intelligence, no. Zero is supposed And to. what is your... Uh, your heal skill is plus one. You have a plus one to your heal skill. Yeah. So it's okay. it's actually seven, not six. So that's good. Oh, should um, I roll... So there's actually a tiny 3d6 yeah. next to heal. Should I just roll that? Yeah, you can, just, you can just roll... Yeah. yeah, you can just roll that. Oh. And it'll okay. do all the hard work for you. Okay. So yeah. anyway, you stabilize him. Uh, he's just, like, holding his hand, and you, you spray on some, like, cauterizing stuff... And now his hand is like a lump of like there's like foam, um, uh, like around it, That's and better. he it's like he doesn't even notice that you're there. He's like in shock, and you can see him uh, his, his hair is kind of like falling in front of his face. And he's all sweaty and like breathing hard. Uh, you can see his his oxygen indicator is like down at at like a quarter, uh, and he's just kind of like uh, like laying against the ship. Booker is now inside with his gun trained on this guy, right? Yeah, I mean he's out. He's outside. Like I envision this whole thing happening at okay. the foot of the shuttle. Okay. Um, I will. Is there a way that we can force his comms to our channel, or does he have to do that? No, no. You can. Yeah, I think you can do it. You can just reach over and just like hit the hit the button. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. I do that and like literally grab the button and get his comms so that we can speak to him. Um. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you just hear him breathing. He's like <laughs> into his calm. Uh, I, I guess like my first question is, is who are you? Okay. Uh, he, he looks up as if noticing you for the first time. <laughs> uh, and he, he just kind of like shakes, like shakes his head and, and like, he, he's, he's still not... You're going to have to get him, like, shake him out of this, this... Like, he's in shock, right? So I'll leave this to the people that I know are better suited. I want to look around. Okay. In the shuttle, is there any evidence of an RPG or any kind of, like, missile or anything like that? Uh, not that you can see. Uh, the shuttle looks like it's in the process of being um, hijacked, right? Like, the comm panel, okay. the, the operator's panel has been ripped off, and the exposed sockets, something has been unplugged, and then there's, like burnt wires hanging out of this other plug that was attached to his little box. He was attempting to power up the shuttle to make his escape, but I don't see any evidence of the weapon he used to destroy our shuttle. Are we like, we're like out of combat, now, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do I recognize right. him? Um, make a notice roll <laughs> with, make a notice roll with charisma. Uh, he does not appear to be. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's not, okay. so it's not our late. prime suspect. Yeah. No, I can tell you that for sure, but I'll see because you've been on the ship, right? So you, maybe you recognize. Yes. Him. Notice with charisma. Nope. <laughs> no, you don't recognize this guy. He looks like a dirty pleb to you. Okay. He definitely doesn't have the like fine features of a house Valen noble. So, <laughs> yeah, you don't know this guy. Is the idea that we're all in the shuttle right now, or you said? Yeah, I mean, you're you're in there. the vicinity of the shuttle. Like yeah, you, can, you can move around. There's closer. no, yeah. There's there's no like tension in in this moment of like you're gonna get attacked or anything. Like well, combat's no, over. Saying, you can be, you can be whatever you need to be. I'm just oh, sure. There's not. Yeah, we were all just exterior. hanging out in the shuttle, and then <laughs> all of a sudden, there's a missile. Okay, fair. Nomi understands. <laughs> you could be attacked at any moment. I just mean you're not yeah. currently <laughs> under attack. Yeah. Oh, well, that's that's what I'm saying to, to get to the point is I was going to Booker if he's approaching, you know, the shuttle, he's going to secure this whole area over here and make sure that this is swept. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. okay. uh, if I see Booker like moving over there, I'll probably be like, Agent Graves, see if you can find any evidence of the weapon they used against us. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this man is responsible. He seemed a bit too panicked, but uh, he seems to be our only suspect at this time. I'm concerned there may be more of them. Copy. I'm on it. Booker's yeah, just okay. sweeping through that shit. All right, Booker, make a uh, notice, notice and wisdom roll. Okay. Oh. Uh, so back, back over here, uh, you find 
a piece of of like wreckage. Uh, basically, it's like a long like metal tube that's all busted up on one end and burnt. Uh, it has two uh, like joists that were um, like hastily welded to it. Uh, and then at the bottom of those two like Y shaped joists, there's a um, uh, oh, there's yeah. two rivets with like torn metal on them. Like it was riveted to something and then it got ripped free. Um, and when you look at the crate nearest to where you find it, there's two chunks. Like there's a strip of, of metal that's torn off the top of it. Uh, there's also a um, like a rivet gun lying uh, on the ground, or I guess floating nearby because it wouldn't just it wouldn't gravitate to the ground. Okay. Because like yeah, Booker tube, would little legs on it. Looks like that. Yeah. Booker informs him like, yeah, there's evidence of a gun here, but it's all messed up and mangled. So it look, perhaps it might have been improvised. I'm guessing. Um. This in this young this man is obviously in shock. I do not think that I am the best one to speak with him. Uh, it may require something uh, more nuanced than that. It's clearly involved. I can't get my accent today. <laughs> it's okay. It's, just can't do it's, it. it's a space. It's a space accent. It's fine. You just have to go back sure. to Italy to. Uh... Yeah, I have to. Yeah, <laughs> I think you're right. Just a quick sure. Italy, real quick. Hey, Pete, like, I'll be back next week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta go. It's research. Uh, okay, all right. So, uh, so yeah, that's what you find, uh, Booker. Otherwise, the place seems clear. There's nobody else. He seems to have been acting alone. Um, what, uh, Nomi, Kiran? What are you doing on the? I want to search him. Okay. Yeah. Search him down. Okay. All right. Uh, make a uh, notice and uh, notice and wisdom check for you. Six. Okay. Right. Uh, it, it by all accounts, it's like a just a Valen flight suit. Um, it has the the patch uh, where you'd normally attach like a rank or whatever insignia. It's kind of like yours, the one that you're wearing, the Crux one. Different colors, different material, not armored. Uh, but it, yeah, it looks like it's a little big for him too. Mira, do you still have the uh, crew manifest that you had earlier? That you had earlier. Um. With all due respect, Chaplain, I don't believe this man is a Valen. Ah. His suit is incredibly poorly fitted. He has no insignia attached, and he definitely doesn't look familiar to me. Mm. I believe this is all stolen. That would also explain why he was trying to hijack the ship. Indeed, true. Therefore, I sincerely doubt we'll be finding his name on this manifesto. Yes, really However, true. I'm sure we have more impress. I'm sure we have more persuasive ways of getting some type of information out of him regarding who he is. If nothing else, we'll be able I'm to take him back to the I'm going to just gently put ship. my foot on his, like, like, right above his nub. Just gently. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah, he, he doesn't like that very much. You can't hear it because he's got his helmet on, but, like, you see his mouth open, and he, like, screams. <clears throat> and, like, try, uh, tries to pull away from you. Yeah, I kind of like stand up. I was like crouched next to him, like looking at his suit or whatever. And I stand yeah, up and so I look at like, her and I yeah, yeah. Bangs, against the, uh, bangs against the back of the shuttle and like grabs his arm. Yeah, I stand up and I look at Kieran and I say, that won't be necessary. Please remove your foot. I like roll my eyes and take it off. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to use um telepathic contact to like talk to him or to like try and kind of calm him down mm -hmm. yeah to help with your your uh your interrogation okay sure. okay all right so he uh let's see uh depth makes depends on your skill you can uh, create a, sh a shallow gestalt with his language centered to understand anything he has to say. So in case you don't speak the same language as him um, and observe his emotional states, uh, he does not get a mental fix. Save. Okay. Uh, he's really scared. You can, you can yeah. feel like fear well, you shot him. Yeah. He just got his hand mangled. Um, mm -hmm. So that's the thing. And he's, he's like, he can't that that's overwhelming 
any other thing he's capable of doing. So it's just like the pain and the fear have like pushed down any more intelligent thought. So he's, he's stuck. He's stuck down there. Okay. So is there, there's like nothing I can do then. So uh, you could try to talk him out of it. You could oh, okay. uh, take the, take the Amira at the Amira approach to uh, torture <laughs> diplomacy. <laughs> He yeah. tried to I went kill to, us and he destroyed my shuttle. I went to diplomat school, so I know where to hurt him. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, like, I mean, you, 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 could, you could short circuit that or you could, like, try to calm him down. Um, yeah. Do He's wanna, not a noble. I don't have to treat him like people. No, you sure don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is true. Your last I don't think has something to say about your words, right? I don't now. think, I don't think, <laughs> don't Nomi, judge I don't me, think, I, Riley's dead. <laughs> I don't think Nomi was saying, don't do this. This is an important person. It was just, this isn't going to help. Yeah, um, not a good approach. So, yeah, no, so I Nomi, Nomi what, what, uh, what angle do you want to take? Uh, I want to um, convince him that we're, I don't know, actually. That doesn't make sense. Could invade his mind. She's already invading well, his mind. Yeah. Oh. You could reassure you could reassure him that we will take him to a ship where he will receive medical treatment. Perhaps we should leave it out that that is a crux ship, but uh, that we can get him medical assistance if he cooperates. I mean, you are all dressed like space cops, but still, like yes, <laughs> telling him that you could help yeah. him would be uh, that'd be an option. Um, Jesus, I can't, cops like, not blow off your hand, and then they're like. We'll take care of you. Hey, It'll be okay. The blowing off of the hand was collateral damage. That was not the intent. <laughs> it's fair, right? Uh, so I say to the person, the villain or fake villain, mm -hmm. um, um, we're here to give you, or we can give you medical help, but we need to know why you're here and who you are. Make a persuade roll. Uh, let's have you uh, do talk with your charisma. Yeah, talk. So you're going to persuade him to calm the fuck down. So talk with charisma. Give yourself a plus one because you are in tune with his emotional state. So you can kind of adjust. What 11. You're oh, yeah, no problem. Whoa. And you're also really fucking good at this. Okay. Charisma. So he, he, he like looks at his hand and he, he nods and he, he says, I don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, fuck. Uh, it hurts. Please. We can't help you unless you can help us. Please focus. And he, he looks up and his pupils are all dilated. And, and he, uh, he's like, well, what are you? What? And he's just kind of like stuttering. You're going to have to give him a specific question to answer. Yeah. Um, did you fire at us on that shuttle? I kind of pointed at it. I didn't know there was anyone on board. Then why would you fire at it? Karsten said there were crux on the ship. And he like looks at the group of you. Who's Karsten? Uh, everybody make a mental effect save. It doesn't mean that you're taking any damage or something. I just, it's a random recollection. Okay. Failure. Okay, all right, so... Yeah. Kiran and the chaplain both recognize the name. Uh, okay. At first, you're like, no, like that's 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 crazy. It can't possibly be this person. Like that's not that doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. Uh, there is a uh, a known uh, a known terrorist. Uh, her name is Alexandra Karsten. Uh, she is from I think Amir, uh, Kiran. You know her because she's from Hakani, and. Mm. Uh, she, yeah, she has orchestrated several, several attacks on behalf of an organization called the Democratic Revolutionary Front, uh, particularly against Valen and uh, corporate targets. And yeah, she has like a severe hate on for House Vela. I don't regret stepping on that arm now, just saying. Uh-huh. <laughs> Terrorist? Not on my ship. Heck to the no. <laughs> So he, all he said, all he said was Karsten said mm -hmm. there were, there were crux on the ship. I'll look back and I'll, I'll just say, 
because you said that it, you know our reaction was like no it can't be and i'll just be like yeah are you talking of alexandra carsten and look at he, him yeah he looks at you uh and um know me you feel his fear shift uh it's not that he's not afraid anymore it's just he's more afraid of what will happen if he answers the question than he is of whatever mm -hmm. you'll do to him which is in and of itself an answer so he just, how he many just looks you... at, at the chaplain yeah how many of you are there aboard and he uh he, he shakes his head a few more specific young man and you, you can see him like kind of he's, he's having a hard time holding on uh and he uh he's like enough enough to stop this thing he like looks around please you said you'd help me i look at nomi i step on too many toes um you can't possibly hope to negotiate with terrorists I like accidentally closed all my windows. <laughs> Couldn't see anything. Oh no! <laughs> no, I mean, we uh, need just alt. No, we just alt F alt F fours. Out of the conversation, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to think if we like need him for anything else. How do I? How long has it been? Like, do we, do I have a feeling about like how long until reinforcements come here? Uh, you were unconscious, so it could be an hour, oh, right. it could be a year, right. <laughs> like you, you, you have no, you have no <laughs> idea uh, of how long it's been. You were out. Okay. Um, oh. <clears throat> so I, I look back at like the group and I'm just like, we need something to bind him. We'll keep him alive while it's useful. He still has information, Kiran. Get out. Well, more importantly. There's more terrorists on board, apparently. Maybe we can use him as some sort of leverage. Possibly. Having a hostage is better than having a corpse. You're correct. Yes, I don't know so exactly how... Find him. I don't know how willing they're going to be to... Using him as a bargaining chip amongst terrorists is probably not going to be too effective. Maybe. But if I'm what a terrorist, would... I don't want to get caught. I don't care about the other one that is. Adam, this democratic whatever front it's called um uh -huh. are they a group that like va really values like loyalty do they look out for each other do they kind of extol those kind of views or are they just like we want to blow up vela because we hate them make a uh make a roll make a uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh no roll with intelligence to see what you know about sure. the democratic whatever front yeah no <laughs> modifiers yeah uh yeah no no. Nope. Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> they're they're a bunch of they're a bunch of like noble murdering, baby eating yeah. terrorists. Yeah, they're just a bunch of scum. I just wondered if they would value some loyalty, but uh, okay. I mean um, is there anything to I... bind him with? Yeah. Uh I draw um, my gun. Yeah, there's there's like cables and shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Right. We have I... an officer, right? Doesn't he have <laughs> cops? Uh yeah, the suits actually would all have like restraints. They'd be they'd be built into your like pack. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Boom. Cop suits. Okay. What you doing with your gun? Uh, I'm just going to point it at his head. Um, and I say, give me a reason to keep you alive. I want to um, lean down while, while like, she's doing that and just kind of play the, the preacher trying to help. Like, can I basically want to provide like a help if, if Nomi has to make good, a roll? Good cop, bad cop. Like, yeah, basically trying to play the angle of like, you know, Listen, you must listen to the, uh, listen to this woman. She will kill you if you do not answer her questions. We just need you to tell us more information. Whatever you are afraid of, I can tell you that there is far worse things that might await you in death. Make a uh, make a talk roll, one of the two of you. Actually, both of you make the roll, but tell me who's doing the main roll. Oh, Nomi will do the main um, roll. I just want to kind of yeah. Okay, give so it a Valencia, hand. make a make a make a talk roll with charisma. Mm -hmm. Hey. Nice. Okay, so Valencio helps. Nomi, make a same thing. Make a talk roll with uh, charisma, and give yourself. You get a plus one from the chaplain, but you also get a minus one from his like natural unwillingness to talk to you uh, and the fact that he's dying. Um, so just a flat, whatever your normal talk roll with charisma would be, which is for you quite good. 
12. <laughs> Fuck you, Adam. I got a 12 anyway. Uh, so, yeah. So he he starts crying. He starts sobbing. And he's like, I don't want to die. And like his head hits the front of his helmet. And he like slumps over. And you can hear oh, him like, <laughs> and like crying into his into his armor. Um, and uh, yeah. And so he yeah, he's he's not doing so good. Uh, you've you've broken him. Uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> yeah. Um, tell me exactly how many people are on board. He says, uh, there's, there's six of us. There used to be more, but the fucking skin job, it fucked up the mission. And, and, and we were all supposed to get off. It wasn't supposed to happen this soon. What Where was it supposed job? to happen? And he, he looks up and he says, uh, we were supposed to wait until we were, we were already jumped. We were going to get off right before, take one of the shuttles, leave the skin job behind, let it do the thing. But it malfunctioned or something. It's fucking things. It went off early while we were still in orbit, off, over fucking Hyra of all places. So we hid. And Carson said that we were gonna we we're gonna find a way off. That it wasn't over, but then we found out you came here and we drew straws. And I was supposed to come and get rid of the shuttle, and they they were gonna pick you off. But do you mean to tell me that Alexandria Carson is on board this ship right now? Uh, he he looks up at you, and and it's it's all it's all in the eyes. Like yeah. And it's like, we're all fucked. I'm fucked. She's going to come and kill me. Like, I'm going to die. You're going to die. We're all going to die. She's going to, she's fucking crazy, man. Uh, and, and he just I, looks at you like, like the look someone looks at you when they're being chased by a wolf. Like, run. Oh, God. I want to get like right in his face and just uh -huh. be like, why would you work with an inhuman creature like a skin job, like a, like a synth? Why were you working with it? And uh, yeah, you get in close enough that your little helmet like bonks against his yeah. your, your view plate, uh, and uh, and he he says, um, "Better one of them than one of us." It was a suicide mission, man. You actively worked with this thing. You brought it on board. He he shakes his head and he, he says, "Karsten knew about it. It was already on the ship. We just used stolen codes to reprogram the thing." Or we were supposed to. The fucking thing didn't work. I swear to God, that triangular piece of shit. If Carson finds out, he's going to be hung from his innards. I look at Nomi and Booker on the triangulum thing like, the triangulum agent is selling codes to reprogram synths. That is something that Crux would want to know about, I'm sure. Uh, I kind of like hit his helmet with my pistol. To get his just tap on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Identify the skin job. Uh, he uh, he's like, what, what? What do you mean? He just he just looked like a person. His identity, his name. Uh, I don't know. He thought he was some kind of villa. I I didn't interact with them myself. That was all Marlowe's job. Booker be pulling up a data pad, like just showing the face, like something that's a, like attached to his belt. Like, yeah, I mean, he did. He did just say he did just say that he doesn't he doesn't know what he looks like. Right. He never saw him. He said, okay. oh, he did that. OK. Yeah, he said he was supposed to, He thought he was a Vela. I never I never saw him. That was Marlo's job. Marlo is one of you. Hey, he nods. Marlo. <laughs> she on Marlo. Yeah, he was he was working in the engineering corps. That, that's how we got access. Know me. It may be worth it to send word back to the jurisprudence just in case this Marlowe is on board. It means they have a terrorist in their midst if they brought him on board after the blast. You may be able to use the other Valen shuttle if its communication is still intact. Oh, yeah. Can I go turn it on? I, I might have the to shuttle is, that. No, the shuttle is, is off and locked. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, it's in lock. Does he know Does how to get on board? Uh, I mean, the, you can get on the shuttle, but you can't turn it on and like make it work. You you could if you had some kind of like 
device know, right? that you could that plug like into the generator. into the ship that would let you crack the ship's activation code. If only yeah. such a device existed and had not been blown yeah. up, then maybe you could. Thanks, Adam. But right now, no, no. Right now, you don't. You don't have the uh, the, the equipment to do such a thing. It just has. It has no power. Well, so right. no, uh, I was in, it's, a, it's basically got it's got a it's got a like a it's a uh, like a uh, club basically a digital club on it. Uh, it's it's in lockdown okay. mode. So anyway, yeah. I have so two no, more questions here. for our friend here, but I will wait until you have asked yours, Cirrus. Well, I I was just gonna say I know I was unconscious, but these guys know how long it is until the shuttle gets here. They're the backup from the Prudence. Right? Uh, like you guys were all yeah, conscious, if, so you are aware of what time it is. Yeah, if you uh, if you ask somebody to check their chronometer, yeah, you could figure it out. Okay. Um. So yeah, I mean, I'll I'll just ask them like how mm -hmm. long until the shuttle gets here, or back yeah, up, how I long? Guess. Uh, let's say if you had to guess, like twenty minutes. Okay. Uh, twenty minutes, Cirrus. All right. Any further questions for our friend here? Yes, I'm going to kneel down next to him. I have two more questions for you, young man. And then if you wish, I can read your rights whilst you wait for the medical care. If it brings you some And he's peace. like, rights? I didn't, like, as in you... I, didn't, I didn't mean rights. Me, that's <laughs> he, he takes it, yeah. He takes it as a, like, a, I can read you your last rights? And he's just nah. like, what? I don't, um, wait, you nah. said you were going to fucking help me. <laughs> I'm merely offering you a moment of peace. Answer these questions. That's all I'm asking. Firstly, who is this triangulum? Who is this triangulum that you are working with? Uh, one of one of Marlowe's friends. Somebody he knew. I don't know. How did Carson know that the synth was on board the Vela? Carson's got all kinds of connections, man. All Tell kinds me, of connections. Please. She knows fucking everybody. I I don't know. I, she doesn't tell us anything. She just runs the show, gives out orders. You look, like a, you look like a smart young man. Surely you've heard something before. This kind of information could make the difference between you rotting in a cell and perhaps you having some form of leniency. Please, do not throw away your life for this woman. Well, you think I'm afraid of being put in jail? What are you going to do? Send me to Gleipnir? I don't fucking care. You don't understand. I, I do not think that... The, I do not fear that you would go to jail... I look and I point at the Crux insignia. You worked with a synth. There are far worse fates that will await you, my young man. But if you help us now, we can speak to the people in charge of this. We can try our best to make sure that such that jail is perhaps what you face rather than something worse. You're a this smart young reason. man. I'm sure you know something. And he, he shakes his head and he says, I was raised in an orphanage on Demnoff, motherfucker. There's nothing you could do to me that's worse than the life I've already lived. Fuck you, imperialist. And he, he like tries to turn away from you, but he can't he doesn't know where to go, but he's just like dismisses you. Just like, fuck you and like turns away. That is a shame. Just stand up. Uh so I, I kind of like look at the chaplain and I look at everyone else and I'm just like, are we done? I look at Cirrus up at the I have no further questions. This man's sins are very, very deep and great. Okay. I um, pity I him. Shoot him. Okay. Just... All right. So, yeah, it's totally silent. It's just his helmet is in one piece, and then all of a sudden it's not, and there's a big burned hole in the front of it, uh, and the inside just blood, and he just slumps back against the deck. <sighs> I look at uh, Greaves, and I say, there are five terrorists still on board. What do you recommend that we do in the meantime while we wait for the jurisprudence to send back up? Secure the area, immediate area that we're in. Make sure the hallways aren't crawling with them. And wait for backup. If we're going to take them on, especially with this terrorist here, we'd better do it with full force. Mm. It might be possible there may still be med kits aboard uh, the Valen shuttles on our own. I know I have got some injuries beneath my suit, I'm sure. Many of you have the same. We should fortify a position quickly. They'll notice that he hasn't come back, and they'll surely send along someone else to investigate what happened. I'd want to check his comms to see if there's a specific frequency and signal we can tap into. 
Silas, what do you think? I agree. Let's do it. Very well. I'll search the shuttles for med- medical supplies. Okay. All right. Uh, so you want to search, like, every shuttle has, like, I mean, not everyone, but this shuttle certainly has, like, an emergency med kit, if that's something mm-hmm. that you need. Yeah. And our one had one on board as well that uh, Kieran saw, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, yours still has one, too. Uh, they're slightly different composition. This one has mostly, like, anti-nausea medication and like uh uh things you would give a noble who's panicking about space travel right there's sedatives um the one the one on on your shuttle is more like a trauma kit for people who get in gunfights yeah so one is useful one is less useful (laughs) i mean like if you want to get high while you wait for the the shuttle to show up then yeah you're fine um okay so uh so you're gonna go and gather that uh kiran what are you doing like 20 the 20 minutes um not much i don't really know what i would do in that situation i'd probably uh pull aside the chaplain and uh ask him if he can show me where the safety on my pistol is (laughs) maybe how to hold it (laughs) <laughs> so you yeah. walk over and you're like i gotta be honest with you i have no idea how to use one of these things where which, oh, what is yeah. the thing let how us begin with the basics <laughs> yes uh and go through all the basics or try and give us a quick crash course as best i can yeah couple, uh, okay. space bottles over on some of the crates you know <laughs> oh, some of those <laughs> antique space cans yeah, yeah, yeah. okay all right uh, great. So you get that set up, and uh, you're you're helping her with the gun. Uh, Nomi and Booker, what are you doing? Wing. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to do whatever to like help. Um, I guess like secure. You were saying that like we should like fortify, kind of. You know. Yeah. How Booker do you do be that? Moving stuff. Um, after first, he would check the hallway to make sure. Like, do a quick little. You know, like on either side mm-hmm. and once those are are clear once the hallway is clear he'd set up like start moving the crates and stuff and set up a tactical position for her right here to, to enter and if if while we're waiting for the shuttle um you know his other terrorist buddies come through we have a, a nice point and cover and everything to ambush him okay all right mm-hmm. uh so uh you you like set up to make sure that yeah you don't have uh you don't have any any incoming uh nomi is there anything that you uh that you want to do i uh, just i want to make sure everybody gets an opportunity what happened to our like four survey crew people Did they all oh, they're just dead or? yeah i was gonna say you Probably. finally you finally think to go check on them and at this point they're definitely all dead <laughs> oh Oops. i don't even feel bad all right <laughs> I don't even feel bad. One of them, one of them has like I, a data pad in his out, hand. So I couldn't. One do of them has a data pad in his hand, and he was halfway through recording a like, "My dear wife and daughter, I love you so much. No one has come to help me, so I must assume they're all dead." It's just, Please. Let's just stamp on that, destroy that. Like, <laughs> live your best life, and they just and he's like lying there. Yeah. Um. So, had- so the chaplain said he was going to look on the ship for medical supplies, right? Uh, yeah, yeah the, the the chaplain is collecting medical supplies from the from the various uh, yeah cool. various stuff. I only have one HP. Is there a way that I can heal no. in this time? I think we all need to. Uh, yes, I think that there's probably in the there's like a. a I mean, make a let's have. A, I mean, this game has rules for it. Uh, Nomi and uh, and the chaplain both make a luck check. If one of you can get it, there's there's like some lift. Nice. Hey. Hey. All right. So there much. is uh one one remaining dose uh of lift. Um, um so somebody somebody can yeah. dose that that lift. You can take 1d8 plus your heal skill and hit points. I believe that uh you are the superior officer, Cirrus. This you should take this immediately. How injured is everyone besides like I know I only uh, have one you, HP, but... Not only do you only have one HP, but if you take even one more damage, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. You should so it. the lift yeah, lift is a very good idea. Yeah, even Graves okay. is like, Nomi, 
you're going to want to take that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, cool. So, so roll, I, uh, you don't, you roll a d8 plus one. What did Booker okay. do to that syringe? <laughs> yeah. I licked it. Yeah. Nomi. Nomi, <laughs> go ahead and take that lift. Nomi, why don't you go ahead and... Uh, you're looking real banged up there. <laughs> yeah, so you go, you take the injector, you put it in, you press the button, and no, no, it was full of air, you die. Um, <laughs> no, you get you get full hit points. You're you're good. You're ready to go. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. So scary only having six or one, I guess. Okay. Cool. Can I... Okay. That's it, never mind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so as, uh, as, uh, as warned, um, uh, 20 minutes, give or take pass by and a big spotlight <clears throat> like shines into the, into the shuttle and the, uh, the, the, one of the crux, uh, shuttles comes, comes in much like yours. Uh, it comes in, but it comes in much slower and the turret like sweeps the area. And when it falls on you, do you like give them the, the all clear wave? Like they're, they're still outside the, the other crux shuttles out here. Yeah, Booker's Booker like signals for them to come down, like you know, which looks like okay. this. <laughs> <laughs> right, the crux, the the secret crux hand language. They get it. Um, they know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Okay. All right. So they they come in and they they land uh, in the in the center of the the area, and. Um, yeah, the door opens at the back, and a half dozen laser rifle armed crux troops like come out and like sweep the area, and uh, and then an officer uh, an officer comes out. Uh, yes. Yancy needs a name. Oh. It's not Yancy. Yancy's got a desk. Yancy's got a desk job yeah. now. Yancy's got a cushy, um, safe desk job now. That's right. Uh, okay, uh, and so over your the crux like channel. Uh, you uh, you hear uh, a woman's voice. Uh, what was the name of that crux officer that was picking on Nicola? Because it's, it's probably her. Let's use her. It was something um, Irish. Lady. Mc, McGarnagle? McTavish? Uh, I think it was supposed to be space. She's space Scottish, so it's Irish and yeah. Scottish at the same time. Um, well, it's her. And, uh, and so she walks over, and uh, she's like, Officer Greaves. Oh, ah, that's right. It was uh, Arnahan. Arnahan, yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. So it's Officer Arnahan and her 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 goons. And so she yeah, she's like, Officer Greaves. Arnahan. You're a welcome looks sight. Like you, looks like you need a little help. And she looks over at the shuttle. She's like, those are expensive, you know. Yeah, well, we didn't exactly plan on getting it mangled. Right, and can I assume the rest of your crew's inside there? Yeah, the rest of the engineering team is in there. We had to right, secure well, the, right. the the shuttle bay before we were able to get to them. Right, well, it looks fucking secure, doesn't it? <laughs> right, it I kind of like her. <laughs> yeah, so and she, she, shakes, she shakes her head, and she's like, mm, shame about the team, but, well, I mean, there's no more plebs where that came from. So, and she, uh, she looks around, anyone important get hurt? Uh, yeah, I'll just wait <laughs> to say anything. I don't want to intrude on military. Nomi got a little banged up, but you got a little bit of a, a boost just a bit ago. Other than that, we're all pretty okay, a little banged up. Uh, if you can help the rest of them, that'd be great. I took a couple of hits, but I'm fine. She she looks you up and down, and she uh, she says, Oh, suit looks like it's in fine shape. She turns to, to Nomi, and Nomi, are you, like, walking over, or... So she salutes you. And she's like, Cirrus, backup's right. salute back. Is that like proper protocol? Uh, you could or you could not. If you want to be rude to her, wow. you wouldn't, but. <clears throat> Wait, if I wanted to be rude, then I wouldn't salute? Yeah, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't salute uh, if you wanted to be rude, but like she probably wouldn't notice. She's pretty businessy. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I'll salute back to her then. That'd be like proper. She she looks past you to the corpse with the smoking hole in his face, and she's like, "Who's your friend?" Mm -hmm. One of six terrorists, so five remaining on board. It seems, unfortunately, that we have someone who is of rather high import. And I kind of look at the chaplain. Um, 
And Alexandra Karsten, correct? So when you say that, she's like, Karsten, is it? Well, looks like we know. just hit the fucking mother lord. It is more serious than, uh, than perhaps is in, even first implied, uh, Officer Aranhan. We believe that Karsten may be working with uh, synthetics, uh, may have access to information on where to find them, uh, and may even have access to a agent who has abilities to uh, codes uh, involving synthetics. She would probably, I imagine, be considered a very high-value target for Crux. We also have... She, an... she nods. We also have uh, knowledge from this man, and I kind of like point at the corpse, uh, that there was an agent of theirs who was disguised as a crew member of the ship, a tech officer Marlowe. It's possible that he might be aboard the uh, jurisprudence, and if so, we need to quarantine him, quarantine him immediately. So she, turns, she turns back to her shuttle, and, uh, and she says, uh, you get all that, and somebody in the shuttle gives like a thumbs up. And she turns back to you and she says, we'll have someone check the database. Took everybody's name when they bought them on board. So there's a Marlowe among them. We'll know right quick. Excellent. So, Cirrus, uh, <laughs> I don't want to step on your toes here, but a known terrorist working with illegal synthetics, that sounds like we've got justification for the big guns. Why don't we uh, gather up in the shuttle and head on home and we'll let the prudence take care of this wee fucker. Um, it looks like, yeah, you know, you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to decide if there's any reason we would need. And she, she puts her hands up and she says, well, I mean, unless, of course, you want her head for yourself. If you were to capture the mighty Alexandra Karsten, hey, that'd be pretty serious. It'd be worth another promotion, I imagine. Serious, I'm not I ne- imagine. Please. I'm not necessarily in this for the glory on hand. My concern is that the only knowledge we have that she's actually on board is the word of a stowaway. It's possible that she's not even here, and I would rather confirm the kill before I report that she's dead. Whilst I have no love for this Karsten, if she has information that can lead us to more of the synthetics and perhaps... Uh, members of the nobility which are betraying us by working with them, I I feel that it would be diligent to capture her alive. She has valuable information that we require. The others, the rest of the terrorists, we do not require, but this Karsten, I must must request that we capture her alive, Sires. She sounds far too valuable. I agree. Thank you, Sirius. Onhan, if you'd like to speak with Greaves, he has some knowledge on traps and turrets that were placed in a tunnel which led us to the discovery of this stowaway terrorist organization. You have my permission to go ahead and take control of this operation. Just keep in mind that we would like, we would prefer to take Karsten alive. If not, uh, if that's not possible, we at least need to make so- sure that she's dead. So Arnahan, yeah, she's she's nodding and uh, and she says, "Right, of course, Cirrus, as you say." She turns to one of her other other men and she uh, she says, "Work with Officer Graves, figure out what you need to do." Cirrus, a word, and she she gestures like, "Can I talk to you over here, away from them?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I follow her. So, yeah, so the two of you walk a little ways away, and uh, and she says, um, "No, <laughs> I don't want to step on your toes, Cirrus, but you sure it's wise." Letting Officer Graves run the show, especially with terrorists around. Uh, I kind of like smirk a little bit, and I'm just like, Officer Graves isn't running anything. I'm putting you in command. She grins. She's like, "Aye, that sounds about right. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on him." What the fuck Thank did you, you just say? <laughs> Reeves activate yeah. booker hearing. You heard everyone. Well, you, I mean, the thing is, you walked, you walked away and switched channels. But the reason you walked away is so no one can read your lips, right? Like it was like this is a private conversation. Let's go over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want her to be like kind of in control of. I just meant for her to consult him about like what he saw. Mm-hmm. 
so that they know what they're walking into. Okay. All right. So, uh, Kiran, you've already got a plan for getting into the ballroom and like busting in there at the correct angles. Would you like to share it with the group? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, rather than rather than make you like make it up, but I assume that's something that you're going to do is you're going to be like, listen, here's where mm -hmm. we are. Show the hologram and. Yeah. Of course. Okay. So. All right. I'm gonna cool. pull up the hologram. I'm gonna have a little laser pointer, and I'm gonna stand up very upright, like my good upbringing <laughs> taught me. <laughs> then be like, okay. "Well, there are three approaches to the ballroom: here, here, and here." As per Booker's description, one turret is placed here. He has surmised that there may be two to three more turrets at this and this location, making entry via the hatch in the floor nearly impossible. <laughs> I'm just going to go on from there. She has one of those like mm -hmm. extendable metal pointer things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And wherever you point, it interacts with the hologram, like lighting it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to be like, Shh. I have to have that like very iconic motion. Yeah. Okay. So you've basically like we can just jump into the execution of the of the storming the thing. So here here are the resources you have. You have six like combat trained like basically like a breach team. Their job is to like go on spaceships and like bust holes in them and take things, uh, take control of the ship. In fact, uh, you know so they're basically where... and playing siege. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's right. You have six and munitions. Uh, so there's uh, there's there's that opportunity. They have the, the appropriate gear. Right? They have like breach charges. They have um, you you request they bring an EMP. Uh, so they have like every one of them has like an EMP grenade that they can bring. Um, they have laser rifles and all all that remains is for you to execute the plan. So unless unless your plan is to like be there in the moment, like running out with the guns, you can kind of like operate from somewhere else or from like the back and let them do the job. Uh, how involved do you guys want to be, and what is what is this going to look like? I would probably uh, ask Nomi. Uh, well, first of all, I'd ask if the Crux ship has any stims, because I am at two hit points, and I would like some more than that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'd also probably suggest, I'd be like, uh, Sirius, uh, Officer Arnahan, uh, I am MES capable. I have uh, abilities of teleportation, which I feel maybe quite useful. I am more than happy to, and I am combat trained before I became a priest. Uh, I have combat training. Uh, my skills are of use. Uh, I feel that with this situation, my MES abilities will be quite useful. If uh, you are willing to let me go. Oh, I thought you were team. talking to Arnan. You were talking to me, right? I'm talking to both of you. Talking to both of you, yeah. Because oh. uh, you're, the, you're the squad commander. I don't want to go without your permission, so... Yeah, he kind of asks you if uh, you're okay um, with I, that. I look at Arnahan and I say, do you feel like the chaplain might be useful to the, to you in this scenario? Uh, she, uh, she, she looks you up and down and she says, well, I'll be honest with you, if we need a priest, it's often because we fucked the mission up, isn't it? I am not offering my skills as a preacher, Officer Arnahan. I am offering my skills as an ex-combat vet and an MES-capable individual. Arnhan, last I checked, um, you couldn't teleport, could you? Because I've seen him. He can teleport. She's, she's squinty and she's like, they keep talking to me like that. I'll teleport my boot up your ass. And quiet. Grown-ups are talking. And she turns back to Valencio. <laughs> and like, she's, she's pulling a weird attitude with you. Like, you don't know why she's being like this, but she is now. Uh, and she turns back yeah, to, Booker's, to Valencio. Booker's and gaze says, is like narrow, his eyes narrow on her. Is like, fuck <laughs> <laughs> and she turns back to, to the chaplain and she says excuse me father now if you've got special skills that we didn't know about i apologize if you think we can be using them then good let's do it of course my skills are at your command do you happen to have a uh, shotgun and some lift aboard your shuttle <laughs> she, she laughs she's like you're nothing like any priest i've ever met asking me for guns and drugs and she turns to one of her her uh, her underlings, and she's like, "Do you got any drugs and guns for the priest here?" And and the the crux she's talking to is just like, and like runs back to the ship, and yeah, comes comes back with like a breaching shotgun and uh, mm. like a, a, a 
bandolier with some syringes on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he, he comes up and, and he, he holds the gun out to you and he's like, uh, here, here you go, sir. I'll take uh, it and father, do the kind sorry. of... <laughs> I'll take it do the John Wick thing of like checking the chamber, like doing all the kind of cool gun maneuvers of like pulling out all the stuff and then yeah, and this it around this, the back. this this officer looks at you like, whoa, he's the coolest priest I've ever seen. <laughs> and then like can I just jam with, a lift in my like, neck? <laughs> with guns, yeah. Uh, and just, uh, <laughs> after he gets the um, the gun, um, Booker's like, not that I want to bother. Master Arnahan here any further, but I would like something more than just a pistol if I'm going to be involved on this mission. Um, okay, yeah, the uh, Arnahan says, um, we've got rifles on board the shuttle. I'll get it myself. Booker goes and walks off to grab it. Yeah. Do I need to roll for the lift, Adam, by the way? Yeah, it's D8 plus whatever your medical skill is. Yes, that's the correct dice. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Would you? There you go. Three. <laughs> kind of wondering okay. if I should shoot up too, since I only have one hit <laughs> point. But Drugs part of me is everybody. like, the Amira would be so awkward about this. She Out of context. Put it. She would just be like. <laughs> so uh, the uh, Arn- Arnahan. <laughs> Arnahan, uh, she uh, she hands you, uh, uh, Chaplain. She hands you another, uh, like an injector, uh, mm-hmm. and the injector uh, has yellow letters. This is caution, and on the other side, uh, it has a, a circular symbol that looks like a wave. Uh, and she uh, she says, um, "If you're not opposed to a little chemical assistance, if things get real hairy," she looks down at it. And she's like, she put her finger on her nose, but she's got a helmet on. So she just kind of gives you a knowing look, like, hey. I, s- I slot it here's... into, uh, like, a, the, the utility belt or whatever the vac suits have. And then I'll look <laughs> at Arnahan and be like, I have not very... There's been a very few times in my career that I've never needed Tsunami, Officer Arnahan. But if the and, uh, needs are required... And she, she grins, and she says, uh, but today is not any other day, is it? It's a holiday. It's the day we capture Alexandra Carson. And, uh, and she looks over at, at Nomi and she says, Ceres, whenever you're ready to give the word. It's your operation on hand, whenever you feel you're ready. So she turns to the, to the, the, the groups and she's like, all right, you fuckers, let's do this thing. And they, they, they charge off. So Kiran, tell me what the plan is here. Oh, gosh. What's the plan? Um... So Booker, plan? Booker, Booker, and Valencio. Booker and Valencio are are part of the the attack. So you've got eight eight people. Uh, here, let me let's do. We'll draw a little. I'll get rid of my super cool drawing here. We'll give you an. Oh no! I know it was beautiful. So uh, imagine like this is the ballroom, and uh, there is a section of the ballroom that has like the washrooms. Two two sets of the of washrooms there. This area is like a kitchen, uh, a kitchen and like a service area, um, and there are service doors that lead here, and then there is a curved like a bar right there. Mm-hmm. This area is open except for uh, a stage up here, and then like a green room with access here and here, and then you can get into the green room separately. There are two big doors out front. This looks like a like a basketball. Um, mm-hmm. A little bit. <laughs> G- gym? Stadium? What do you call the thing you play basketball in? Court? Court. court. It's, it's yeah. a court. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <Jeez>. Uh, <laughs> like the court? What? I, it's a hockey <laughs> hole. Uh, so there is a... It's nice. There's a hallway here. It's a basketball dungeon. Uh, so you see there's there's a hallway here that uh, that the servants can use to get access to the um, to the kitchen from the back. So there's all these back entrances. And then the room that you were in before is this kind of like oval-shaped room uh, that is like the antechamber for the party. And there are three lift doors. And then the area you tried to come into uh, was in a, not Jeffrey's tube, an in-control tube right there. 
Uh, normally, there would be furniture along either side, and you didn't really get a good look at what's inside the room, but the doors into the hall, into the big hall are there. Okay. Yeah. So these did, you, are... did you say this was two stories, or is it not two stories? Yes, it is. Yeah, the, the actual ballroom uh, is, is, like, enormous and tall, and yeah. Okay, okay. Um, all right, I'm starting to have an idea. So... And what we have available to us are eight operators, including Greaves and the chaplain. And then I think yeah. you said some EMPs. So you've got, yeah. So you've got, you've got like, uh, you've, yeah, you've got a group of, of armed badass marine types. Uh, so let's, I'll make a little list for you. I don't know. This is sounding more, have... more like, like Anne should be in charge of Nomi because that siege experience, man. Mm. <laughs> so you've got, yeah, all right. You got Arnahan, you've got uh Crux uh operators. There's four of those. Uh and then yeah, you have uh Booker and the Padre. <laughs> Booker and the Booker and the Padre is my favorite Burt uh Burt Reynolds movie. Uh, okay. Good buddy cop movie. Come and see. Yeah, and you have basically what you would imagine like a SWAT team, a space SWAT team to have. So they have shotguns, sidearms, like MP5 style like things. They have combat armor. Uh, they have internal comms. They have like a battering. They have like breach charges. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's one more. Sorry, one more operator. Uh, and then uh, yeah, and they brought along with them uh, EMP grenades and uh, and yeah, and that's it. Okay. That's it. It's a pretty good breach team. You don't know how many. What did he? What did the? What did the guy you killed say? How many they had? How many six. they had? Five. Six. It's six. And yeah. Six so you. Him. Yeah, six. And you five. outnumber them pretty significantly. So. Yeah. Um, I think that the EMP grenades are a temporary solution, and that mm -hmm. if we really want to throw them in disarray, we should have at least one strike team hit the kitchen. Because that's where we so know where the power. Yeah, is let's coming talk from. about let, let's break it into into phases. So, and this is something mm -hmm. it's not just for uh, Kiran. You're all like, this is this is what Kiran has already told us as part of her like, you're doing this, and then this is happening. But let's break it into phases. So, there's the approach. There's mm -hmm. like the heat, right? Like the middle of the bit, and then there's like getting out. And your plan, your objective, if you succeed, is to capture the terrorist Alexander Karsten alive, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so talk to me about how you want to approach, and then we'll make okay. a roll for it. So I want to send a team in through the back hallway, that little, like, the servants how many, access hallway. How, how many people? I want to send them, I want to send in two groups, so. Oh, you um, also know, wanna... you know for, you know for a fact that there is some kind of, like, automated weapon uh, targeting that, that room. So there's, like, a turret here. Wait, where? Can you ping that for me? The X. The X. Ah, right. Okay. So, would you have to cross that turret to get into the that hallway? Uh, it depends on your approach vector. Okay, let's see. I don't know why Arnahan turned red. Okay, so. Because is there? Let's see. That's if we come in through the hallways here. We could also use that in control tube. Mm -hmm. um, team, any thoughts? I'm sorry. I don't know. I have some ideas, but. So from my understanding, there's no way into this part of the like map without you, entering through this antechamber like, correct you've you've got some you've got some room to imagine things that make that would make sense right there's like right. a backstage area that we don't know any details about we there is mm -hmm. like the two bathrooms there's like a mm -hmm. back uh, a back hallway that leads into the kitchen there's the kitchen itself so i feel like if it makes sense if there's any question yeah. i'll just make you make a luck check okay is would would there by chance maybe be an air vent going into one of these bathrooms Make like a luck a roll. Type of, okay. An air conditioning vent, maybe? A luck mm -hmm. roll. Yeah. Make a luck save. Oh, wrong character sheet. There we go. Okay. There are uh, there are ventilation chests, but they're too small for a person. Ah, okay. You can't crawl And through. All right. Um, 
And then if they were to come in through that tube right there, I'm assuming they'd have to come in one by one. Yes. Yeah. Cause there's a ladder and then they come in that way. I can come in behind anybody cause um, I can teleport within 10 meters super easily. Right. Right. Well, I'm afraid to send, because like I don't want to send people in one by one. That seems like a really bad situation. Like I don't want people to get caught up coming climbing out of a tube. You know, like it's okay to send one person through there, but it can't be. Oh my god! (laughs) Very impressive. Why do you hate me, Adam? (laughs) I just didn't want her to forget again. I I saw you were personally upset by it. Okay. Yeah, no, it's it's a pretty good idea. Um the I'm afraid that they might have co, 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 co. <laughs> <Just reading. laughs> I'm afraid that they might have turrets trained on the elevators too, which I'm sure they do. Well, the elevator could, we could EMP that area. I was gonna say, yeah, these EMPs. It's yeah. reasonable, it's reasonable to like assume setup. that the turret is like, yeah. like okay. scanning that area. You EMP that turret, which gets us into that mm-hmm. room, then we can disable it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then we can okay. breach the main breach the doors, and then you can split the teams up. Yeah, that makes sense to me as well. Okay, so let's okay, send so in the approach. So the approach two teams is through the two where? elevators in groups. Okay, of four. so you want to send you want to send two. Uh, tell me, tell me who goes where, uh, and and obviously okay. everybody can contribute to this if you have ideas. But so you want two of the crux officers in this one, and like two over here. I want to keep. Booker and the chaplain together, if possible. So, like, like that. Of course, so we can have a spin-off series. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, and then what do you want to do with Arnahan and the other the other two guys? I think Arnahan should lead up the attack in the center ele- into into in the center elevator with um, Booker and uh, the Padre. Oh, and so it's like a big, two- big, big force up the middle. Yeah, okay. yeah, and then two on the sides to help sweep. And then, ideally, when those elevator doors open or when they come up through that shaft, the first thing they do is throw the EMPs and then come in and commence the sweep before they go into the actual main ballroom. Okay, all right, great. So, um, where uh, Nomi and Kiran are you orchestrating this op from the shuttle bay or have you gone somewhere else? I would probably stay near the shuttle bay. That would make sense. Mute it out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Be on the front Um, lines. So, uh, Kiran, make a uh, make a lead roll to see how how well this goes. Shit, make Uh, it good, please. (laughs) I help it all. And we'll talk about. So, this is the approach. Can I use one of my plus ones? Yes, yeah, totally. Yeah. Sweet. Seems like a good use. Yep. Hey. Nice. Okay. There's no casualties. Uh so we we get we cut from you explaining it to it actually happening. So we see the uh we see the doors open, we hear the machine, we see the machine gun like like lifting itself up and turning uh and and like the rocket launcher, this thing looks clutched together. It's a, a like mm-hmm. a a machine gun on a, a welded tripod with a camera duct tape to it. Uh, like it's all it's all very like clutched together from other equipment. And yeah, it powers up, the light comes on, it pulls up, we see a grenade roll into the room, boom, it pops, blasts the, the, the gun, the gun powers down and everybody rushes in. So you've all, uh, you've all moved up. Uh, everybody has, uh, has taken position uh, up in the secondary room. What, uh, what now? What's the what's the next phase of the plan? Um, I'm gonna have the main, like the the Padre Booker Arnahan. Actually, no, they're perfectly split into two groups. I guess that works too. Let's have Arnahan and her four uh, officers go right uh, through that servants' access tunnel and in through the back of the kitchen, so that they can like disconnect the power and clear the kitchen. Okay, so there you want them to go this way. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna try to set up a kill bo- a kill box. Yeah, and then okay. send uh, Booker and the chaplain left in through the green room, and then from there they can clear moving inwards to make sure that nobody gets shot in the back. Okay, so so phase two is to breach like breach into the main hallway 
and then uh and then the the like secondary rooms you don't actually know where your target is so mm -hmm. yeah we gotta okay. search everything okay okay all right Okay, so there's going to be another lead roll for, for phase two. You're going to need to make two. One for Arnahan's team and one for Padre or the book or, and Booker's team. Now, okay. instead of that lead roll, Booker or the chaplain can make a skill test too. Like, either of you can make a roll instead. Because otherwise, Kiran is trying to orchestrate both teams and we'll get a penalty on both rolls. I, I mean, I wouldn't take it. I, I look to Booker. I follow tactical orders. Okay, so, so Booker, you're in you're you're in control of your your unit, uh, so you can do the same. You can make a lead roll to lead your unit into the into the fight. Sure. Hey, I'm kind Ooh. of okay. You Not got a great. six, so it's te it's technically a fail. We'll talk Seven. about what that means in a second. You're a fail. I should have given you my plus one. That's okay. You I only have three to go around. Did. Know, but uh, so Booker Booker leads the two officers around his side. Uh, yeah. Kiran, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk Arnahan through uh, breaching the kitchen through the back. I want them to like just come in through the back door with a feel with a, like a fury and ideally disconnect the power. That way, if there's any more automated guns anywhere or traps or bombs, knowing these goddamn people, they're like ideally disconnected or whatever. Um, However, I think I'm going to save my plus one for the third phase, just in case. Booker you have two, you have two more. Um, okay. Yeah. So let's have you make your, make, your, make your lead roll. Let's see how Arnahan's squad does. Okay. Womp, 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 womp. Okay. So Nomi, do you want to make a lead roll to try to help? Or are you just like watching this happen? Uh, Sure. Is there, I mean, is there a way that I can help without actually being there? Yeah, because that's, I mean, that's what Kiran's doing. Right. The two of you are in, in the, like, the ops shuttle right. being like, okay, now go, go left. Super inspiring stuff overcomes. You guys got this. Oh my okay. God, you're so good at leading. So you can only help, you can only help, you can only help one of them. You can help Booker or you can help the Arnahan and company team. <laughs> Great. I mean, Nomi's going to help you... Arnahan and company. Okay. And. Yeah. Thanks, Through Max you, Nomi. You're not even on the mission. <laughs> Nomi <laughs> thinks Arnahan is great. All right. Lead with charisma. Yes. No modifier? Uh, yes. Yeah, with, with charisma. Oh, I've been doing lead roles with Int. Have I been cheating? Uh, for, no, for you, no, for you, tactics-wise, okay. yeah, you're, you're doing it with Ant. That's fine. Um, the reason that it's okay. charisma is Nomi is like offering advice and support. So... Mm -hmm. uh, the 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 role Arnahan's role it becomes a seven and not a failure. So here's here's what happens. Uh, Booker and company move up. Uh, one of uh, one of your dudes gets downed, uh, Booker, when you try to breach. So he he bu busts the door, goes in, and then laser laser fire. He gets dropped. Uh, you get pinned down by the entrance. The three of you uh, by at least one or maybe more uh, tangos in the in the green room. So they've got that door covered. Mm -hmm. um, so Arnahan, uh, Arnahan and company, uh, they got a seven. So they're gonna they're gonna lose someone, but they breach the room. Uh, so they're in the room, which forces the terrorists that were in this room to fall back into the ballroom, giving Arnahan and team uh, access to the bar. So phase three, uh, you've moved up. Booker, the two guys, Booker, uh, I guess one guy left, Booker and the Padre, you can't advance without some kind of like, like you're stuck, you're pinned down, you can't get past them. So you can either go around or like somebody could activate their psychic powers. Like, yeah, I was going to say, could I teleport behind and slit their throat? Yeah, like, well, that would, well, I mean, I just shotgun one in the back if it's a regular yeah. tango, but like, surely that would be enough of a distraction like to get Booker involved. Uh, reaction. So let's, yeah, let's like, talk about, let's talk down. about phase three. So your command to Arnahan was to go in and cut the, cut the power. So they do. We see them burst in. They start firing. 
Tango's fire back. The terrorists fall back into the ballroom. Uh, they they come up and they blast one of the they they like blow up this generator that they have that's running the power. Uh, and we see in this room what they've done is they've got a bunch of computers, a bunch of like uh, data pads and like laptops and stuff, and they're all jury rigged together. And they've run a data line in here, and it looks like they were in the middle of like hacking the ship's database. So they were trying to get a hold of like maybe the signet data on the ship. Uh, and as commanded, Arnhan comes in and just, just blasts the shit. Uh, and then they, uh, yeah, and then they secure they secure this room. Arnahan reports back, uh, and she uh, she's like, "Right, well, we got whatever experiment they were doing in here, but they're still well alive." And you can hear uh, her guys like talking, and there's they're still exchanging some fire through these doors. Uh, mm-hmm. And then Booker and the Padre, uh, you are yeah, you're you're pinned outside. You can't get in this way. What is what is the what are the two teams going to do? Is this where Padre you you take the? Yeah, I think I would I would yeah. um give a nod to Booker and the the other officer and just basically say like Booker like you know give me a few seconds storm in I'll you know I'll jump in behind them take them by surprise and then cock the shotgun and then yeah like literally duck my head round instantly move action teleport behind one of the tangos and just shotgun blast right in the back. Simultaneously, no, providing it's not that. Alexander. Yeah, like right after that bubble. happens and the other one's disoriented, Booker would pop up and go, pff, 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 yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to use the Padre's secret powers. Okay, let's see how it goes. So you're leading this one, Chaplain. So uh, you can roll roll lead. Um, oh, you can do it. This is... I can't just this is a, a I'm going to... I mean, no. you, you are, but it's not about that. We're not doing up, like, and now you're spliced. You're you're just fucked up. We're not. <laughs> no, no, we're not doing. We're just not doing individual shots. So this is a lead okay. role, but you can use, uh, you can use Dex because uh, okay. Dex or or Charisma if you want, because you're taking like a really aggressive front. Uh, Dex for me, I think. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Booker, you, you Booker, you're you helping. Like you're helping with. Sh- you're helping with shoot. So Booker, roll oh. shoot as a skill, uh, and then we'll wait. And then the chaplain can add up all his, his bonuses. Miss. Now I said that. It's going to be horrible. Nope, I didn't say it. Never said it. Uh, so Booker, it's, we're relying on your marksmanship abilities. Yeah, nice. So Booker's a great shot. Pops in and takes advantage of the surprise. Chaplain, you're going to get a plus one from that. Kiran gives you mm-hmm. uh, the second of her, her two plus ones. And then mm-hmm. you're going to roll lead with, uh, with Dex in this case. Dex. Hey, okay. Okay, so you got a nine uh, Six. total. So uh, I think in this case, it's a qualified success. I'm going to roll. And let's see. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> the other crux officer takes the hit. But uh, <laughs> you down both the both the tangos in this room. So yeah, you, you come running in. Booker, I think you uh, you drop one. Uh, you, you like take a shot. The, the Padre appears behind this other guy, shotguns him in the back. Um, but as he's going down, he fires a burst. Booker, you move out of the way. It tags the other uh, crux op, and he he goes down. Mm-hmm. Cool. So that's four 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 casualties so far. Um, meanwhile, I think it was four. No, it was three because it was the three and you two. Okay. Uh, they're not necessarily dead. They're just down. Uh, if you want to stop okay. to make a uh, uh, check, you're, you're welcome. To so meanwhile, well. yeah, they're they're casualties, which is like injured or maybe dead, but like. They can't keep fighting. Uh, okay. So meanwhile, in the kitchen, uh, Kiran and Nomi, what are you ordering Arnahan to do here? Are we, well, if Arnahan, are like... <laughs> if, it's a mess. If Arnahan, Arnahan, number four. like... I was going to say... <laughs> God damn it, now I want food. Um, if Arnahan holds position, then Booker and the chaplain can get to, like, a flanking position, and the people will be pinned down on both sides. So, um, does she by chance have like any like stun grenades or tear well, gas? Fuck yeah, or... fuck yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna give her uh, instruction to find cover and disorient them and create an opening for uh, Booker. I know exactly. And the I know exactly what Arnhan's gonna do. Okay, so let's okay, let's have you let's have you roll. Mm-hmm. Um, roll to lead. Uh, Arnhan. I'm gonna has use playing. my last She's... plus one on this. Okay. Arnahan's a crazy motherfucker. I have faith. <laughs> so I'm out of plus ones. Okay. All right. So you're going to roll your lead. You can roll with plus one. Uh, oh, good. barely. Okay. Really right. happy I used that. Success, though. So 
so this is another this is another casualty during the thing. So Arnahan, we see her. Uh, she she flips her bag down. She's got a, a pack. She flips it down on the table, opens it up, and she pulls out um, some kind of like uh, like a metal canister with like a timer on it. Uh, she sets the timer to one, and uh, she uh, she looks at one of the guy one of her guys, and she's like, "Hey, make a distraction." And one of the guys runs up, kicks the door open, and starts like firing. He takes a hit. And there's some like firing and Arnahan runs up, sticks the thing on the wall, hits the button and then like throws herself behind cover and she blows out this chunk of the wall. So that's actually the wall blows out. Uh, it kills it kills the two tangos that are hiding behind the bar. The bar blows up from behind, throwing like glass shards and like chunks of uh, a bottle out into the zero G, I might add, too. So it's just this like spray of razor sharp pieces of glass that fly out and chunks of wall and they all fly out into the thing two of the tangos get blasted they fall down and while that's happening booker and the padre do you two want to burst into the ballroom and take these other guys down yeah. i'll give yeah. booker the lead again on this one okay all right booker so in this case it's just you and the padre are you both going through the same entrance you come in you come in both around the stage probably separate just to get some crossfire going yeah, so just like run out to the edge of the stage and and shoot shoot each other. Yep. Okay. Uh, great. Well, I think in this case it's just a shoot skill. So. Right. Do I uh, do I and, assist yeah, them? Or? Yeah, you assist with shoot. Same thing. Great. Oh, God well, fucking damn my rolls today! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I have a plus one in shoot. Jesus Christ. Okay. So so. You got a plus one, which only brings you up to a six, which means both of you need to make physical effect saves. Awesome. <laughs> well, you okay, so the after. chaplain, I'm gonna add you oh, to the the. I'm adding you to the uh, the casualties, casualties pile. You're not dead, mm -hmm. but like you take a hit and you you fall back. So they they've turned and dropped down. They're firing. Um, Booker, you kill one of them. But there's still Ooh. one. There's still one going, uh, and he or she falls back into the uh, into the bathroom and is like hiding in there. So, Kiran, what's the plan now? Uh, Arnahan has used her breaching charge. There are two more crux officers. The Padre is temporarily down. Uh, Booker is out in the open, but still okay. Okay. Um. Let's see. I mean. We haven't done a very good job of identifying these people <laughs> as we're going in, so I'm like wondering yeah, if this last person is like, yeah. Again, it's it's, like, it's again, it's more like like these aren't dead; they're just casualties. They're just removed from the fight. One of them is Karsten. Okay, uh, they'll probably be injured. Yeah, yeah I'm not. I'm not yeah. worried. I'm not too worried okay. about them dying by accident. Okay, good. Um, so she's used her breaching charge. That's unfortunate because otherwise she could take out that bathroom. No, wall yeah, Arnahan. Arnahan went Arnaham on these guys, and she's she's done. I'm, I'm okay now. with that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have her uh, throw a smoke grenade in, and then come in like straight with her two officers on either end, like covering her, and just do like does that make sense. So she wants you, you know, want like her when you to look the door and you sweep it and then you just go in and right like kick the officer. kick the door and then have somebody yes you yes mean, you like smoke or flash grenade flash the smoke's yeah, just gonna that. make it hard for you to see what yeah smoke's yeah, no, just gonna make it worse flash. okay yeah, so no, it's a a, a a flash and clear you're gonna like throw a grenade yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then go in there hit it hard and fast. The old bang and clear. Okay, uh, so Booker, are you going to help or are you going to stay falling back? Yeah, uh, Booker would help. Nice. Okay. All right. So Booker, make the shoot roll. Uh, this is going to be you helping, and then Kiran, make one more lead roll, and we'll see okay. how it goes. Six. Nice. Okay. So you get a plus one, uh, Kiran, on your. All right. Look at all this tactical mm -hmm. diplomacy. <laughs> hey. Okay. So somebody, somebody takes a hit. I'm gonna roll a D4 no. to see at random who it is. So uh, one of the crux officers takes a hit, gets casualtyed out. So I think the officer kicks the door open. The tango inside shoots through the door and like drops that guy. Arnahan throws the flashbang in. It pops, uh, and then uh, and then the uh, the other CEO runs in. Arnahan runs in. Booker, you follow up and uh, you cap you capture the last the last tango. 
And I think that'll be that'll be the end of our episode. It's like bursting into this into the bathroom and like grabbing this this terrorist, pointing your gun at them. And uh, before we get a chance to interact with them and like learn who it is and what their deal is, uh, we will we will finish today's episode and we'll start next episode with the uh, interrogation of uh, Alexandra Karsten. Good job, everybody lived well. The Padres, I'm sure he'll be fine. You'll you'll be fine, Mark. I um, almost started chanting like like tsunami, tsunami, but I was like, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I yeah, almost if, did if, those. Times. If Chaplin, if Chaplin Valencia had taken the crazy. A knockout madness drug then yeah totally that could have been something would have been different um, if it's one thing tsunami and uh kamikaze or whatever or psycho are different things altogether <laughs> a little bit yeah one one is like a stim pack and the other is like jet and you don't want to get addicted to <laughs> yeah. jet jet no. not even once so uh for xp for the session uh booker um you 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 found clues lots of clues on the ship so you get an experience point um know me uh, you have you have not yet solved the mystery of the bag uh you don't know the connection between i i'm having the bag as a stand-in for like the connection between that guy and the terrorist plus you also didn't literally find the bag but you can ask him about it right. um how are we feeling about kiran did her actions today dispel suspicion towards her i'd say so well I'd, yeah yeah it seems like she's pretty uh I kind of love how it ended up this way where the Emira was like the tactical like office, like the one leading everybody in this in this little thing. It was cool seeing you like fight that way. I had ship um, knowledge. Nomi, what do you think? That you, sounded like you... shit knowledge, but yeah. <laughs> ship. Booker Booker and the uh, chaplain are both like, yeah, Kiran's cool. Nomi, how do you feel? Yeah, I think, well, especially because I'm on the ship with like her while I'm like mm -hmm. hearing her like make calls and stuff like that. Um, I think that my like, like respect and appreciation for her would have gone up. I don't know, like mm -hmm. what necessarily was suspicious about her. So I don't know if I am like qualified to talk about that part. But I mean, I think I think that's fine. Like you, you've yeah. you've gotten a, an idea of her, and she seems competent. That's, that's right. the most one can I'm not a for terrorist. From, from I promise. Yeah. Huh. So you get uh you get one, and Valencia, you're still working on your heading for Orpheus one. So Booker, yeah. uh, Kiran, and Nomi all get one experience point. And that's it. That's our episode. This is a cool one. I like this little like yeah. wait, tactical not, assault on the spaceship thing. Not Nomi, right? Um, I did. no. Yeah, sorry, not Nomi. I put a check mark next. Okay. You haven't solved it yet. You're working on it. Okay, correct. Yeah, so yeah. Booker and uh, Kiran. That's right, because you're still doing it. Okay, great. <clears throat> Good work, team. Uh, let's do some shout outs and we'll go record our, our video. Uh, let's start with uh, the chaplain. You can use your normal accent now, Mark. Uh, chaplain, yeah, God. Here. Shout it out, Mark. Hi, I'm Mark. I do various voices from European countries when I try and play a character because uh, I just didn't practice it. Hi, I am a dungeon master for a show called High Rollers, which you can check out on twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers DND or twitch.tv forward slash Showscast. It's on Sundays at 5 p.m. Uh, UK time. Uh, there, we're also doing a brand new show for the new Dragon Heist module, which is on Mondays on the D&D channel or on High Rollers D&D Twitch, as mentioned before. I'm also starting to do more YouTube stuff and more Twitch stuff where I can. You can check out all those links and stuff, um, kindly on the thing. Love the game. Love uh, getting to use old Valencio's teleportation powers. Hope you enjoyed it. Everybody did great. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Uh, down, down below, tactical, tactical operations officer Amira Kiran Kaur. Bronze, do it. Do the thing. Hello, hello. I'm that Bronze girl. Uh, I'm a full time variety caster on Twitch. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch, I guess. You can find me on both. Um, yeah, no, uh, shout outs to Adam for this episode because I felt like I was playing This is the Police too in the best way possible. <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> wonderful. That was a great episode. Hopefully you all in the audience has as much fun as I did. That was great. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Max. Glad you're not dead. Keep it up, buddy. Do a shout out. Yeah, we're still alive. Um, yeah, it was cool to come <laughs> back. Um, <laughs> though, uh, though I was sick, it was still fun to, to do this. And uh, I was glad I was able to feel well enough to, to come back on the show. Um, <laughs> what are you laughing at? What's so funny? Oh, I Nothing. see. He's fucking with the... <laughs> You know what? Most of the time, I don't put my camera over the thing, so I wasn't even able to see mm -hmm. what the fuck was happening. It's broken. This is fine. 
I can't hit reset. It um, just keeps going to the left. <laughs> no. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm a streamer as well, variety streamer, and as well as uh, making YouTube content here and there. Back from PAX. I'm going to try to get less sick. I might be streaming uh, Two Point Hospital later tonight because that would be funny. Sick boy tries to make other people not sick. Um, oh. Yeah, that's, that's it. We'll talk to you guys <laughs> about the show afterwards. And I'm just going to try to deal with this whole affliction that I have going on, this changing of colors. You okay? Thanks, good. Mom. There you go. We're back to normal, Max. Excellent. Thank you, Max. Uh, up above, last but not least, knocked out for the longest amount of time in the campaign so far, but still kicking. No Mika. Still Anmunition. alive. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. My name is Ammunition, and I play a lot of Rainbow Six Siege, mostly, which was a lot of this episode, actually, which was kind of fun. Um, I'll probably be streaming later tonight, uh, maybe in about an hour and a half or so. I don't know if I'm going to play Siege or if I'm going to play Two Point Hospital, which is a fun game. So I'm glad that Max is playing it because I also enjoy that game. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show and I'll see you next week for the next one. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, I have been your space master, Adam Coble. You can find me uh, as usual on Twitter at SkinnyGhost, twitch.tv slash Adam Coble. Uh, or I'm starting a new show. Uh, this week on Roll20, we're doing the Pathfinder playtest. And then also on, on Friday, over at twitch.tv slash DD, starting uh, a playthrough of Dragon Heist. So lots of RPGs for me. Uh, and as always, we're, uh, we're continuing with Court of Swords. And speaking of Court of Swords, did you see the badass t shirt? Did you see that t shirt? My God, we have mm -hmm. new t shirts. You can go to itme.jp slash merch and you can get a cool Far Verona shirt or an extremely cool Court of Swords shirt. Uh, we we worked lo long and hard on all of these, and I'm very proud of them. They're probably my favorite merch so far. So go buy some because they're bad. Shirts are dancing. It's a really comfortable shirt as well. I'm wearing mine right now. It's super comfy. Yeah. So there you go. So that's that's brand new. We're doing we're doing new merch, and you can go and get it. Itme.jp slash merch. So go do that. Um, we're gonna go and <laughs> thank you, JP. So we're gonna go and record our uh, our, our usual uh, our usual post show. Uh, which you can find by becoming a patron uh, of Roleplay at patreon.com slash Roleplay. We're going to go record that video. I'm going to put the Q&A up, and I will see you all next time for more Far Verona. Hi, everybody. <laughs>